Hi hey guys, this is a quick update on my Perusas. Um, I actually was trying 0.6 millimeters and I found a problem um, with these back rollers. These are actually wall back rollers that I made. Um, uh, this is 0.6 millimeter nozzles. Um, I don't really mind the stringing, but you obviously get a ton more stringing. And um, the biggest problem is that even though your infills are now a lot, um, you use less, uh, for example, 10% infill with 0 0.6 uh, versus something 10% with 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle, you're gonna get a lot more hexagons uh, with the honeycomb pattern. For example, this is with 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle, um, almost no stringing. Right, and you're gonna get very even, even uh, infills that support your back for back rollers, for example. Um, so, while you can print much faster with 0.6 millimeter nozzle, your infills are now gonna have bigger holes, especially let's say honeycomb pattern, and you're gonna get this you know, with this back roller. I find that it actually squishes in on those corners. So that's another thing to think about depending on what you're building if you need a little bit more uniform support on stuff with the infills then you're going to actually get better because the same number of infill if you use smaller nozzle you're going to have uh these smaller hexagons versus bigger hexagons um i've got these uh smartphone holders designed <laughs> well scribbled it's on thingies verse by the way uh, it's pretty cool. You can put your phone and it sort of lifts it up. Now I'm using these cheap ass nozzles. And they're just um, cheap ass 0.4 millimeter nozzles. They work perfect. You don't need to get expensive nozzles at all. Um, I mean, I, I did try Bontex CHT, but they don't have 0.4 millimeter nozzles. And I think I'll have to take back that. Um, 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle is only good if you're doing like something you need to print out big and you need to print out fast but the strength overall strength you're gonna get out of you're gonna actually do better with 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle um, because of the uniform structure of the infill whereas if you use uh, bigger nozzles you're gonna get less hexagons uh, same amount of infills 20% versus 20% uh, but you're obviously gonna the impact position is gonna be less I know this because I've been trying to develop this back roller for, I don't know, a few months now. So that's 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I've, I'm printing everything with 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Uh, and this printer just prints perfect. I mean, I still haven't really found the right combination of settings for 0.6 millimeter nozzle because if you use the one on Bruce's slicer, it, it just won't print. It will print with a lot of, um, what is it, a lot of... Uh, stringing yeah and I'm printing ABS um, this one's a hardened steel nozzle it's actually a, uh, that's a Winson cheap one I bought so I, I really feel like you don't need to use very expensive nozzles but use a good printer I mean if, if you're still using enders and I don't know I'm just god I'm actually printing out a fan shroud for my ender in ABS to fix some problems. Uh, as far as the six kilo, sorry, three kilo spools, I've been working really well with my ball bearing. Um, I'm actually going back to uh, eight millimeters cubed for max volumetric rate. This is all TPU material, um, TPU, TPU, and it's actually pretty fast. I'm getting super good quality. Um, you know, I mess with bigger nozzles and they're just not worth it uh, you just lose quality you get a lot of stringing like and I like I said you actually for the purpose depending on the purpose you you lose that uniform um, in, uh, structure integrity of the infills because you use less of the holes for the infills um, whatever you use and you know, because it's, your lines become thicker anyway um, something I've learned while trying to make something of my own but I'm just gonna stick with 0.4 millimeter nozzles for now. 
and I don't need to over push it. I think the point is, you know, too many people try to print so they got damn fast, but then, you know, at the end of the day, the whole point is trying to, you know, print good parts, not print it fast. All right. And I'm actually going with, this one's actually zero point, this one's ABS, a 0 0.3 millimeter layer height. Um, I forget, I think this is with the 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. ABS and Petchy actually you can print with uh, 0 0.6, fine, but with TPU it just gets very, very stringy. Anyway, just a quick update on my Prusa printers.